Tonight, we are getting an updated look at gun violence in our area. WDBJ 7's Taylor Locke has the Roanoke Police Department statistic report for the first half of this year. End of the day, we're about healing from gun violence, right? Headlines after headlines of shootings across our hometowns. But compared to this time last year, the amount of gun violence cases are down. According to data from the Roanoke Police Department, there have been 14 offenses where a victim was hit by gunfire in the first six months of this year. Whereas in the first six months of last year, that number stood at double, 31. As far as homicides, three people have died due to gun violence this year, compared to eight this time last year. The area in Roanoke where we are seeing the most gun violence this year is the Northwest region. Eight victims have been shot in that area. Those numbers convey a significant reduction and we want to stay on track with that. But it's, it's this collaborative effort of the community. Uh, we have a lot of new initiatives in place and we want to continue to uh, focus on those. The Gun Violence Prevention Committee met Tuesday to discuss the recent shootings and what the city is doing to combat this deadly problem. Vice Mayor Cobb says there are many collaborations going on. We've seen an increase in grief support groups in the community. Um, we're seeing an increase in outreach and support offered to persons experiencing gun violence. We even have a emergency relocation program. Roanoke Public Schools also just started a Community Builders Program, which is a community violence intervention program. There's a youth and gang violence prevention team, as well as RESET, which works directly with youth in the community with one goal in mind. The combination of those efforts is helping us see a reduction in gun violence in our community. In Roanoke, Taylor Locke, WDBJ7.